When the name Louis Burwell Chesty Puller is uttered within the ranks of the United States Marine Corps, it commands a reverence and respect unmatched by any other figure in the service's storied history. A veteran of three wars and countless battles, Puller's exploits on the battlefield and unwavering dedication to the Corps have cemented his legacy as the most decorated Marine ever and a true embodiment of the indomitable spirit that defines every leatherneck. Born in 1898 in West Point, Virginia, Puller's path to greatness began humbly, shaped by the tales of Civil War veterans and his idolization of Confederate heroes like Stonewall Jackson. He enrolled at the Virginia Military Institute in 1917, but left a year later, intent on joining the fight in World War I. Though the war ended before he could deploy, Puller's thirst for combat was unquenched, leading him to enlist in the Marine Corps in 1918. It was in the years following the Great War that Puller truly cut his teeth as a Marine officer, serving in the Banana Wars in Haiti and Nicaragua. In these early campaigns against guerrilla forces, he displayed the fearlessness, tactical acumen, and relentless pursuit of the enemy that would become his hallmarks. It was in Nicaragua that he earned his first two of an eventual five Navy crosses, the nation's second highest military decoration for valor. Puller's legend only grew during World War II where he distinguished himself in some of the Pacific Theater's most brutal campaigns. At Guadalcanal, he earned his third Navy Cross, leading his battalion in the defense of the vital Henderson Airfield against overwhelming Japanese forces. His fourth Navy Cross came at Cape Gloucester in 1944, where he braved enemy fire to inspire his men during a fierce counterattack. But it was in Korea that Puller truly etched his name into the annals of Marine Corps history. As a Brigadier General, he led his 1st Marine Regiment in the daring amphibious landing at Incheon in 1950, a pivotal operation that turned the tide of the war. Months later at the Chosen Reservoir, Puller earned his 5th and final Navy Cross, leading his outnumbered and surrounded forces in a daring breakout against 10 Chinese divisions. Puller's exploits on the battlefield were matched only by his larger-than-life persona and unwavering devotion to the Marine Corps. His barrel-chested physique and gruff demeanor earned him the iconic nickname Chesty, while his blunt speech and disdain for anything he perceived as weakness or cowardice became the stuff of legend. As General Oliver P. Smith, who served with Puller in Korea, recalled, he was a Marine's Marine. He loved his corps as no other man ever did. He loved its traditions, its discipline, and its history. This love was reciprocated by the Marines who served under his command, who revered him as the embodiment of the Corps' values and fighting spirit. Puller's accomplishments and contributions to the Marine Corps are unparalleled. In addition to his five Navy crosses, he was awarded the Distinguished Service Cross, the Silver Star, two Legions of Merit with V device for valor, the Bronze Star with V device, and a Purple Heart. His decorations also included awards from foreign nations, such as the Haitian Medaille Militaire and the Nicaraguan Cross of Valor. Beyond his personal accolades, Puller's impact on the Marine Corps was profound. His leadership and tactical innovations influenced generations of Marines, while his unwavering commitment to the Corps' traditions and values helped shape its enduring warrior ethos. In the words of General James F. Amos, former Commandant of the Marine Corps, Chesty Puller was a Marine's Marine. He was the quintessential warrior leading from the front and inspiring his Marines with his personal courage and devotion to duty. As the Marine Corps continues to forge ahead, adapting to new challenges and threats, the legacy of Louis Burwell Chesty Puller remains a guiding light, a reminder of the unwavering spirit and unbreakable resolve that have defined the Corps since its inception. His name is spoken with reverence his exploits were counted with awe, and his example held up as the standard to which all Marines should aspire. For in the annals of the United States Marine Corps, few figures loom as large or cast as long a shadow as Chesty Puller, a titan among Marines whose accomplishments and unwavering devotion to the Corps will forever inspire those who follow in his footsteps.